My entitled boss laid me off for refusing to come in on my weekend off. I've been in retail since 2009. And my now last job, I was there since 2014. I won't go into huge details about about the work environment. A lot of that can be seen on my profile of other job posts. But to summarize, in the whole time I was there my boss, despite always saying family time is important, he would always screw over my personal time off. When I worked directly under him, a lot of times he would cancel my days off because he was taking a trip somewhere. Couple with that, and childish and immature co-workers who threw tantrums and gave silent treatments, I was at the end of my rope. My job mostly consisted of delivering building material. I had a certain certificate to operate a certain type of delivery truck. The certification was going to expire at the end of the year. About a week or so into January, HR came to do a review with me. During the review, they mentioned they are holding a course to revalidate the certification for everyone in the company in two weeks. They said it's on your weekend off, but are you able to attend? I looked at my calendar and said I had plans booked that day, so it doesn't work to my schedule. My company wanted to get everyone done at once, that way they save money on group training. HR just said see what you can do to attend. And I said that the plans were set in stone, and things were left at that. About a week before the course, HR emailed again, saying this course is critical for my job, so to try and attend. I replied it doesn't work for my schedule, that I'd be happy to do it any other day, but this is going on during my weekend off, where I made plans well in advance, so it doesn't work for my schedule. For a few days, there was nothing else. My boss owns a few stores. And one worker from another store came by who was also going to the course. They told me he had been making plans with his fiance for the last several months for that weekend, but had to cancel them because they suddenly revealed this training course and had to attend. He wasn't too happy plans he made for months had to be canceled. I said nothing to him, figured it was his choice if he chose to do that. Then suddenly my boss began phoning me two days before the course. I recorded the conversation. Maybe in the future I'll upload it, but for now, I'll just transcribe what was said. AB will stand for a whole boss. And just for some context, earlier that week, I got a work truck stuck in the snow, and called a tow truck to pull me out, and paid for it myself. It will be important for what happens next. And this is roughly how it went. AB hey original poster. HR tells me you are unable to attend the training course. Original poster that's correct. I unfortunately made plans in advance so I can attend. AB after a moment of silence. I need you to get this training done. Original poster I understand that. But I made plans well in advance, that I can't just cancel. Ab okay. You realize when we notify you two weeks in advance, it doesn't mean it's optional. This is mandatory. At this point, I was starting to get mad. Original poster I understand that. But I've been planning this weekend since early December. I'll be out a lot of money if I cancel. Ab what are you doing? Original poster that is a private matter. I can't discuss that. Ab after a moment of silence original poster. How much is that towing bill costing me? Original poster I paid for that myself because that was my screw up. Ab silent again for a few seconds okay. Then you're gonna have to do this training on your own time and your own money then. The training itself cost only a few hundred dollars, but by this point, I had it with my boss. Original poster well, we will cross that bridge when we get there. Ab silent again this is pretty rich coming from you. Original poster well, I'm sorry. But I received no heads up. No communication this was being planned for that date. I know there were plans to do the training early December, but never heard anything about it since either September or October. Ab silence again original poster. I'm not happy right now. Original poster well, I'm sorry. But I have a life, and I can't just cancel things when I make plans on my day off. Ab silence again. Okay. Good enough. Bye. Original poster bye. So for a week. I heard nothing, continued my job as normal while looking for a new job, because I had it with my boss. Nine years of all this, I had reached my breaking point during that phone call. This boss has always screwed me over for my personal time off, and this was the last straw of trying to force me to come in on my scheduled weekend off. And then one week later, towards the end of the day, HR showed up. They informed me they were laying me off due to extremely slow season, with hopes of having me come back in spring. I said nothing choosing to leave on a high note. But I knew it was really their way of firing me without firing me. That way, they avoid paying severance which would have been in the tens of thousands of dollars. I estimated between 10 and 40 thousand. I already looked into it. Unfortunately I have no real way of proving this is retaliation. All their paperwork, though I know a lie, say I was laid off for lack of work, etc. The only proof I have is recently, 
I had to contact the insurance provider for my company to get a letter of experience from them. The agent I spoke with said he recognized my name, saying my now former employer recently removed me from their insurance coverage. Other than this backhanded move, I'm glad to be out of there. I was unhappy, stressed, and fed up. I'm using the time to advance my driver's license to have the highest one I can get in my country. If anyone is curious to know what stories in my profile pertain to this company, or this boss, feel free to look, or message me, and I'll tell you which ones they are. Now, for the comments commenter 1 I am in the UK, so I know things are very different. But, I would look at their website and see if they're recruiting for a replacement driver. If they are, then I'd copy that advert and use it as proof they lied about it being slow and no longer requiring your services. Then, speak to a lawyer for advice about how you can proceed. Commenter 1 Please see an employment lawyer. I think you can do something about the severance. Commenter 2 You need to stop apologizing so much in conversations with bosses. They view it as a sign of weakness and step all over you for an update so all my ties are officially cut from my former employer. As what everyone suggested, I did try reaching out to a lawyer. Unfortunately, my local ones charged almost 500 for a 30-minute consultation. And that is almost half of what I earn every two weeks from unemployment. I didn't want to lose that large chunk. So I tried Google searching for lawyers that offered free consultation. I reached out to one, where they asked for a brief summary. They eventually got back to me saying they can offer a free consultation, but gave me contact info for another place to contact. Unfortunately, I got busy between applying for the government funding program for school, and other life stuff that I didn't focus on contacting them right away. I don't know if my former employer saw my Reddit post, because they reached out far sooner than I expected. They weren't supposed to get a hold of until the end of April. Instead, HR reached out on the last Friday of March. They left a voicemail and were wondering if I'd be able to return by April 1st or 8th, and asked for me to call them back by the Wednesday at the latest. HR then sent me an email almost right away after calling basically repeating what they left in the voicemail. I didn't call them back. I figured I'd let them sweat about it for the weekend, with the intention of calling by the Monday. I planned to call late Monday, but HR called twice in the morning and emailed again. So I called HR back, and I had someone there listening in as a witness, as well as recorded the conversation. I told HR I wasn't coming back. They stammered when they heard that. Doing a lot of um, ah, uh, ah. Uh, before finally saying congratulations. Me and the other person with me looked at each other wondering why they said congratulations for quitting. HR asked me what was doing, I just said I was going to school. My one theory is maybe they laid me off as punishment, and would think I'd be more than willing to come back after a few months, and me saying no was not what they expected. If that is the case, it is fun knowing they shot themselves in the foot. The other reason why I think that, is I went to one of my other former employer's stores to talk to a good and very close friend of mine. They said management was recently going to them because they knew how close we are, asking them have you heard from original poster? What is he doing? Do you know what he is going to school for? They said they didn't know. Which was the truth, since we hadn't seen each other in close to a month, and they felt it was none of their business. I have thought back on everything, on whether I could have done things better, but I think everything worked out for the best. Under Ontario law, from what I read, and they laid me off in retaliation and claiming a slow winter, I would have legal recourse if no one else in the company is laid off. I did hear from a few sources that there were a few layoffs. And I did have the right to refuse the layoff when they first told me, where I could have said either I keep working, or you fire me, but I was so fed up, and tired of the toxic atmosphere, I would take any exit to get out of that job. And being laid off qualified me for the government funding for school, so there is the other upside but it seems like my former boss might be facing the beginning of a staffing crisis. I heard last night one of his store managers SM quit. This worker had been with the company for maybe 20 plus years. There was an issue with one worker who is related to the boss. The SM took the issue to HR, but HR did nothing, so they quit. So currently I am in school, and feel happier than I have in maybe over a year. If anyone is interested in hearing the audio recording of my boss I mentioned in the last post, send me a message and let me know and I'll send the Google Drive link. I'm doing this because a few news sites took my last post and put it on their sites without permission. Just comment that you sent me a message, that way I know to check. I just might be slow, between school and how many people ask to hear it. As a heads up about the recording, there is a lot of long pauses for my boss, so the audio didn't freeze. You'll hear us say bye to each other when the call ends. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 Did you try the Law Society of Ontario? They offer free 30-minute consultations in case you, 
or anyone else reading this, needs to know this in the future. Comment or two depending on where you live, contact your state's Department of Labor or similar governmental regulatory body. It sounds like what they did violates labor laws. Comment or 3HR asked me what was doing, I just said I was going to school. The only correct answer is, none of your business as I don't work for you. Comment or 3 question, I wonder if the being laid off qualified me for the government funding for school, has your company paying for some of the funding? If it does, maybe they needed you to come back to work, so they could lay you off some other way where they would not have to pay for your school. Original post or no, my provincial government has an aid program where if someone is laid off from their job, they qualify for the funding as long as it fits training they feel will fill critical job roles that the province needs, like trades and transportation, etc. My former employer is not involved. (laughs) 